Here to discuss, Democratic Senator John Tester of Montana. He's the chairman of the Senate Appropriations Subcommittee on Defense, which hosted today's public hearing on the Chinese balloon, and also a Montanan who, did you see it yourself, or did you just hear about it from I did, people? I did not see it myself, but there were plenty of people that did see it in Montana. And you were upset about it. Oh, uh, look, I mean, uh, we happen to have ICBMs in Montana. Uh, people in Montana appreciate freedom and privacy. They don't like anybody spying on them, much less the Chinese uh, communist government. And so, yeah, it's, it's a big deal. I mean, what China did was a, was a major screw-up and an incursion on our air, air, airspace. And no, I am very upset about it. I, uh, I've heard for years that, that China is the pacing threat, and they are, both economically and militarily. And uh, I think we need to take this very, very seriously. I think the administration did. I'm not saying they didn't. But, but this, is a, this is a bad action. Yeah. Some of your colleagues, uh, Republicans, have said that it should have been shot down earlier. Uh, the Biden White House says that the Pentagon said if we shoot it down when it's over land, that, that runs a risk of, of hurting people, Montanans, uh, or even people, there are 8,000 people who live in the Aleutian Islands uh, in Alaska. What do you think? Should they have shot it down earlier? Well, I was, I was in the column that says shoot the doggone thing down and do it, do it as soon as possible. Uh, I, think, I think the military made a decision that that wasn't the best option. The best option was to do what they did. They had good reason for what they did. They explained it to us in classified session and, and in open session in the hearing that I held. And, and I accept, uh, I accept that, uh, that decision is, is a decision that was the right decision for them to make at the time. I will tell you what concerns me, though. Um, I chair the defense appropriations with, with Senator Collins. We need to get together to find out what the plan is and make sure the budget meets the needs to make sure this never happens again. And so next time they send one over, because apparently this is the, I guess there were three during the Trump administration and two during Biden, uh, the next time it happens, there needs to be a plan to take it down as soon as possible? I, I believe so, yes. So I think there needs to be a plan to deal with it in such a way whether it's either disabled so it can't collect anything or you take it out of the sky. I want to run a little of the sound uh, that, you, that you said earlier today about the threat this posed to the U.S., To know absolutely that this was of no military threat to us, boy, I want to hear more about that in classified session, too, because quite frankly, I'm not sure that you can say that unequivocally. So now you've had the classified session. I know you can't tell us classified information, but do you feel that there was no military threat? I'm, I'm, uh, I am much more comfortable with uh, the explanation of what they collected uh, as to being, uh, that, let me put it this way, it doesn't put our national security at risk. One of the Pentagon officials that you're hearing said it could be days or weeks before all the debris is recovered yes. um, from the ocean. Um, when will the public get answers about what this balloon was specifically doing yeah. and what was collected? Well, I, I don't know that uh, I don't know the public will ever get the answers. That will be up to the intelligence community. But but I will say this: uh, there's a lot of smart guys that work in our military and in our intel. They're going to collect it. They'll put it back together. They'll reverse engineer it. And they'll know exactly what they were doing, but it's probably going to take some time. I mean, the weather is not conducive. They got they had they, they said they had a good night last night picking up material from the the down balloon. Uh, the weather's evidently going to deteriorate, so it, it'll put it off a little bit. But look, um, there's one thing that I know about the military: uh, they are going to go out. They'll get every stick of that uh, balloon and its cargo that they can. And they'll put it back together and they'll make a determination that'll be what's right for this country. It will take some time, though. I think the bigger issue here, though, Jake, is that uh, this is an incursion on our airspace. And uh, it's always been a situation where we've said no. I mean, we've scrambled fighters. We've done all sorts of stuff. And there's, this is a balloon. It's not a fighter aircraft. It's not a bomber. But nonetheless, it still is an incursion on our airspace. And it's, it's illegal. And do you think he was test? Do you think President Xi of China was testing President Biden, seeing how he would react, seeing if he was strong or weak or all that? I think that uh, I don't think this happened by mistake. I think they knew exactly what they're doing, whether Xi knew it or somebody else knew it. This didn't happen by accident. And I think China always tests us and, and, and maybe tests us to see what the political fallout was going to be, whether folks played politics with national defense, which is something we've never done. But we did see some of that with this situation or how the military was going to react. Uh, like I said, this isn't the first time you know that, that a balloon has crossed into our airspace in different administrations. 
And uh, we need to have a plan for that because obviously it's not going to stop. And, uh, and I think uh, our airspace is, is sacred to us and we ought to protect it. So listen to President Biden ask what this whole saga has done to U.S.-China relations. Have relations now between the U.S. and China taken a big hit, no. frankly? No. The idea of shooting down a balloon that's gathering information over America um, and, uh, is, and that, break, that t- makes relations worse. Do you agree that U.S. and China relations have not taken a big hit because of this? I don't think China relations were particularly good before. Uh, the, only, the only proof point I point to, Jake, is that uh, their equivalent to Secretary Austin uh, did not talk, uh, has not talked to Secretary It wouldn't take Austin. the call. Uh, exactly. And, and I think that isn't a particularly good sign because I think people need to communicate and, and let people know. The United States didn't do anything wrong here. It was China that sent the balloon over that came into our territory. Uh, and China has not had a good explanation for this period. And uh, Although they're demanding the balloon remnants back. They want it back. Well, I got a better idea for them. Just don't send them over in the first place, and then they can keep them. All right, Senator John Tester, Democrat of Montana. Always good to see you, sir. Thank Thanks, you so Jake. much.